More than 2,000 people in the United States received a lung transplant last year. Today, nearly 1,000 people are waiting for that life-saving surgery. And as KPLC's Rhonda Kitchens reports, surgeons have developed a new innovative way to extend a patient's life while they're waiting for a donor. It feels really heavy and it's all just damaged. This was 34-year-old Davy Bowers' lung, a snowboarder, skateboarder, fisherman, and golfer. At 21, Davey smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. Ten years ago, he switched to vaping. It's honestly more addicting than cigarettes. And then last year, Davey caught the flu. I felt a little short of breath, was coughing up a lot of secretions. The lungs, you know, were so heavily infected that they, they start to liquefy, and he had developed pus in both his cavities. And literally, if you look at his x-ray, there's nothing left. Surgeons at Northwestern Medicine created a new life-saving procedure to save Davy. It was very clear to me that he needed a double lung transplant, but it was also very clear that he would not survive that transplant. Thoracic surgeon Ann Kit Barat removed Davy's damaged lungs and created an artificial lung. After we took both his lungs out and engineered a system uh, that could be attached to his body and uh, keep his blood flow through the heart, keep his brain and other organs perfused. They placed double D breast implants inside his chest cavity to keep his heart in place. So within uh, 24 hours after we took out the lungs, um, his body started to get better. Within 48 hours, Davy had new lungs. I can't even put it into words. I mean, they gave me a second chance at life. Those patients are Doctors believe this new procedure could help others survive when they're out of options, giving their bodies time to heal from infections and giving them the best possible chance of surviving a lung transplant. With today's health headlines, I'm Rhonda Kitchens.